Welcome. I will discuss now extra example number two. Here I'm given two vectors, A and B, and I want to find the angle between them. It's a good idea first, whenever we're given two vectors, to draw the two vectors so that you get an idea of what angle to expect. A is 2i minus j. This means I go 2 along the x-axis and minus 1 here. So A will be this vector. This is A. B is i plus j. So this is i, it means I go 1 along the x, and j, I go 1 here. And so this is B. So this is A, this is B. I want to find the angle between them. To find the angle, the simplest approach is to write A dot B the dot product of the vectors in two different ways. I can write this as A, B, cosine theta, where theta is the angle between A and B. And I can also write it as, that's one way, in fact, that's how we define A dot B. And the other way is to write it in terms of the components, A dot B, is ax bx plus ay by. So since a dot b is the same, this means that cosine theta is ax bx plus ay by over ab. But what is a? a is the square root of ax square plus a y squared. And what is the magnitude b? It's the square root b x squared plus b y squared. So knowing a x, a y, b x, b y, we can determine cosine theta. In this case, a x is 2, b x is 1, plus a y is minus 1, and B y is 1, divided by the magnitude of A, square root of A x square 4, and A y square 1. So that's square root of 5, and B, square root of B x square, that's 1, B x is 1, and B y is 1. So that's square root of 2. So we get 2 minus 1, that's 1, over square root of 10, which is approximately 0.316. So theta is cosine inverse. 0.316. And that determines the angle theta. Thank you for listening.